What's up, Maridistas, and happy Wednesday. Hope you guys all enjoyed the post-classical coverage we did Saturday night, post-game show. Monday, Lucas and I reflected on it uh, and also included talking points on Chuam and his injury. And of course, Monday as well, the Churros y Tacticas podcast, which the reviews have been pouring in. And if you haven't listened to it already, uh, you should go listen to it. I'll just leave it there. Today is Wednesday. I'm giving you guys a free clip from, from our member mailbag last week that went up and goes up every single week over on patreon.com slash managing Madrid. Also for YouTube members, if you can't join Patreon for whatever reason because of the country you live in, you can go to the memberships tab on the YouTube channel and sign up that way and get access to the mailbag and also submit questions that way if you want. This particular question from the mailbag that I'm posting now is about Zidane, would he return? Could he return? Should he return? And also ties into the discussion on whether or not Real Madrid should just prioritize Chabi Alonso next season. Enjoy it. And I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Today is Wednesday. So the live call with our members is on Thursday. And then the mailbag with Lucas this week is on Friday. So hope to see you there. Enjoy today's clip. And let's go. Ranta says, it seems inevitable that Zizou, will, Zizou the savior will return one day, but how likely do you think it is that he returns already next season? And if he does, what are your feelings about it? For me, it would only make sense if we somehow could put together this Avengers-like super squad of 16-17, again with the addition of players like Holland, Davies, and Hakimi. On one hand, I don't, I don't really think he's coming back anytime soon. And on the other, it's hard to see him spending more time on a sabbatical as he is right now, right? I mean, he has to, he has to be pretty uh, willing and, and and looking forward to returning to to coaching. I think so. Um, he obviously expected to get the the French job after the the World Cup, but the champs ended up getting a new contract, and yeah, that's. That pretty much uh, summarizes my my feelings. I I don't I don't really think he's coming back anytime soon. And on the other hand, I really expect him to to get uh, interested in in finding a new jo- a new job soon. Which means that obviously, if Ancelotti is going to go, he might actually be considered. Although I think that. It would not be uh, ideal for both sides to cross paths right now. I think it would be better for Zidane to wait a little bit longer, maybe to wait until Florentino isn't there. It's not like I believe their relationship got uh, tarnished or very damaged, but I think it will be like healthier for both sides to stay away of each other, maybe until until Florentino is away and Real Madrid can maybe implement different uh, policies in terms of their relationship with the media, which is what pretty much got Zidane so upset uh, during his last tenure here. So um, I don't think his return next summer is very realistic, but I think he will find a a new job uh, elsewhere. Zidane is in a tricky spot because he's taking a sabbatical and I feel like the longer he stays out of the game, the harder it's going to kind of be to integrate or also a a team to take him on after being away from the game for so long. I know it's Zinedine freaking Zidane, but like, you know, if I'm Real Madrid and let's say like, how long has he been out of coaching now? 2021, was it? Yeah, Yeah. until uh, two years. This this would be his third year. When when this year is over, well, when this season is over, it would have been his third season, yeah. So if he's away for like three, four years and... You know, you have an opportunity to bring him back to Real Madrid. Would you look at that and be like, "Hey, man, it's been three, four years." Did you, like, maybe if if he was like coaching this whole time, I think it'd be a different story. Having said that, me personally, um, this is just my opinion. I'm not going to generalize it to the whole fan base. I would take Zidane back anytime he's coming back. Like, I think he's earned that with us, yeah. and I trust him. But the thing with Zidane too is, and this is what makes him makes it tricky for him to come back. I think his coaching method is a little bit more geared towards teams that have superstars. Sorry to say. Like, I don't... Like, we've kind of seen... Like, 
not a huge sample size, but like with Castilla, he wasn't nearly as good as he was with the A team. And if he's to go back to like, let's say Marseille, or let's say like just a smaller team, and he doesn't do as well there, the stock for him will fall a little bit. Whereas if he's coaching the French national team or Real Madrid, his stock will probably remain pretty high. So he's probably holding out if he's coming back for like the top level thing. And if I had to guess, he's probably just waiting for Deschamps to step aside. And I don't know if Deschamps will, will necessarily do that on his own volition. And he'll probably continue to win because his team is so stacked. So Maybe wait until the Euro, which is next summer. Mm. See how France do there. If the champs doesn't do that well, even though his contract is guaranteed, maybe hope that he's going to leave. I don't know. Yeah, I, I expect him to to get a new a new job by the end of next summer for sure. About uh, Real Madrid's uh, willingness to sign him once again, I'm not sure, man. I think it would be wise for Madrid to to hire Xavi Alonso now. Otherwise, I think it's going to be difficult in the future because I think he's one of those prospects that might actually have long tenures as well elsewhere. You know, this is one of the modern coaches who might be willing to spend, I don't know, five to ten years, wherever he, he decides to go next. So I think Real Madrid, I mean, this guy is doing an unbelievable job in, in Leverkusen, man. I think we're all very excited. So I think this is a can't miss out opportunity for for Real Madrid so I would if I were Real Madrid and both uh, Alonso and Zidane come calling telling me that they want uh, to become their coach uh, the Real Madrid coach after Ancelotti I think I'd rather go and give the job to Alonso even though maybe some fans find this disrespectful I uh, disrespectful I think that Alonso is a great pro a great prospect that you don't you don't want to miss out on no, I agree with that. If if right now you had the choice to, to choose any manager after Ancelotti, I would choose Xabi Alonso as my number one. Even if Zidane comes calling? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah we I, agree. I, okay. I, I would actually choose Xabi over any manager in the world. Yeah, yeah, right me now. too. Absolutely. Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. I, he would be, I, I think that they should really try to secure him for next year if Ancelotti absolutely. is leaving. As soon as possible, actually. I mean, if you can actually sign that contract now, you you do it. No matter, you know, how unproven he is in, in elite football and he's obvious lack of success because Leverkusen is the only job he's he's gotten in in elite football in 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 first division so that doesn't matter to me I've seen enough I've I, seen I, enough from from yeah. Leverkusen I'm from him I've seen enough I, I also agree with you that if you don't get him soon then you risk losing him for yep. several years because yep. you know that well let's, let's let's be honest like if the reports are true that he has that clause that he can leave Leverkusen's contract early if it's Real Madrid, Bayern, or Liverpool. Is it really Liverpool? Are, are Liverpool really in the conversation? Because they're not going to sack Klopp. I have no idea. I have no idea about their Klopp situation. I don't think they will sack him either, but I have no idea if he's been... If he's feeling any kind of fatigue or burnout yeah. about the, the Liverpool job, I don't know. My don't point know is that, that with, with Liverpool, Klopp has to step away himself. He's not going yeah, to be fired. Yeah, he's, like too, he's earned way too much credit there. Yeah. Bayern is different because Bayern are doing really weird things, especially under new ownership, yeah. and it's a volatile situation. That one I could see us competing with uh, us more. Um. But didn't remember I told you in the summertime I was like I don't know man isn't there a world where Ancelotti actually stays next year and doesn't go to Brazil? That seems to be gaining traction recently. Yeah, yeah. seems to be gaining this whole traction. Brazil which thing is... was not as true as we thought it was. I think it, it was true, but I I don't know what's happening there. I think Ancelotti's chances and odds of staying have increased a little bit in, in recent weeks, if not months. Uh, that seems to be gaining traction. I I'm, that's not the option I'm a fan of with Alonso, quote-unquote, available. I think Alonso is available there, and I would actually replace Ancelotti with Alonso right now, even if, I mean, no matter what happens. I mean, no matter if Ancelotti wins La Liga this year, if I'm being honest. His contract expires, so it would not be a uh, uh, sack. It will be similar to what happened to Del Bosque back in the day. And granted, you will be criticized, but I think Alonso's reputation and Alonso's character and likability will kind of 
uh, slow down those uh, and that criticism uh, a little bit. I mean, I've seen enough from Alonso, man. I've seen I enough. Don't, I don't know, man. Th this is really tricky because I, I don't think. I don't think you can get rid of Ancelotti, especially if he wins this season. And if I'm he wins not what, La Liga. What's that? If he wins La Liga, if he wins the Champions League, granted it's impossible. Especially if he does it with with this team, which we can all agree on the fact that it's not one of the favorites to to win the Champions League this season. But if he wins La Liga, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, would you would you give up on the opportunity of uh, Alonso for? a one year or two year extension of Ancelotti I wouldn't I wouldn't no matter how that controversial that move will be I think Alonso is going is walking away from Leverkusen next summer man I th I think it's it has nothing to do with what we would want it's that oh the, yeah well, the club, that's obvious yeah well the club is I don't think would do that to Carlo like the Del Bosque thing was way different because It, first of all, it was like 20 years ago. Florentino's decision-making has changed since then. And second yeah. of all, Ancelotti is Florentino's guy. Del Bosque was Lorenzo, Lorenzo Sanz's guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I so agree with that. It was a different situation. And, and there's another question, Lucas, is that if Carlo does win trophies this year, major trophies, should he be, should he be kept? Maybe he should be kept. Like, why, For why Alonso, should... my answer is no. Mm. I mean, I, I would just prioritize signing Alonso over anything else. Mm. I understand. Summer. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just. I just think it's going to be really tricky to do that. By the way, just because of the fact that I think he's he's leaving Leverkusen next summer. I mean, that's why I feel in. That's why I'm feeling this kind of desperation about the whole situation. You know, I think he's he's going away from Leverkusen next summer. I think he's done enough to receive interest from from Bayern or other big clubs in, in Europe. Whoever, I mean, even if Chelsea maybe uh, keep failing this season, uh, he will receive interest from them. I think he's going to get interest from, from big clubs in Europe next summer. And if he does, I think he's leaving Leverkusen. So just because of that and the, and the, and the small detail I mentioned that I see him staying for a long, long time in, in his next club, if that next club is an elite one. I That's why I feel Real Madrid should be kind of in this desperation mode about the whole Xavi Alonso situation. I don't want to spend the next 10 years thinking what if we had signed Xavi Alonso in 2024, you know? But we instead decided to to, to, to apply this short-sighted vision and, and keep Ancelotti for an extra season instead. I don't. I don't want to see <laughs> to experience that. If I'm being honest, I understand what you're saying, but let me let me push back on this a little bit. I think we have a two year window to sign him. His contract still doesn't end until 2025. I think it's just Bayern that we'd have to be worried about. I think uh, Alonso Alonso is like obviously smart enough to to know that there's no rush for him to go to like Chelsea because he he can look around and look at the project at Chelsea and be like, you know what. It's more worth it for me to just wait for Real Madrid and for Ancelotti to leave because what rush do I have to get out of Bayer Leverkusen? I'm getting Champions League football with them. I'm taking it them cannot to go down League. quickly though. I mean Leverkusen is not an established club in Europe which would guarantee him success at the level he's getting success right now. You yeah, know but think, yeah, but think about that Lucas. Like if if Leverkusen drop off now, then at least we know that this was a fluke, <laughs> right? Like at he, least loses, we... he loses traction and reputation if they do, though. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Well, well, look, if from his perspective, I feel like he knows that this is a marathon. He's in a good situation mm. with Leverkusen. Come on, he is. He, he's in a good situation with Leverkusen. He needs to cash in on the opportunity, man. Everything can go downhill very quickly in football. No, maybe maybe like, they I, forget about you in, in, the, in 12 months. If I don't know, if Leverkusen miss out on the opportunity to play Champions League football next year and next year they also finish maybe 10th or 11th in the Bundesliga, he, he faces a serious risk of, uh, you know, ultimately maybe not receiving these big offers from elite clubs in Europe. Conversely, though, if he goes to Chelsea, there's more sure. pressure on him and he could fail there and and, and sure. while he could have succeeded at Leverkusen. 
because the expectations sure. are higher and like, hey, we gave you this much money, bro, and you can't get us to the Champions League. Whereas Leverkusen, the expectations were lower, the budget was lower, and he has sure. been playing incredible football. So, yeah, Chelsea are a bit in a tougher spot that I probably wanted to to put as an example. Sure, I don't know what other clubs would be a good example for the case I was trying to make in order to find other clubs rather than Bayern and and Liverpool. Again, what if Liverpool miss out on, on Champions League spot and club decides to walk away and they call Alonso? What happens then? Well, I, I, don't know, I think that's right a realistic now, Liverpool scenario. Are good. Liverpool are good right now. I know, now, so. I know they are, but things change very quickly in the champion <laughs> in the in the Premier League, so I don't know. I think Real Madrid have to face this uh, in a very desperate uh, way. I think Xavi Alonso is that good, and I think Xavi Alonso will get that kind of interest from from other clubs. So, considering the the fact that Ancelotti doesn't seem to be the long term solution, granted you can keep him for keep him for another year, sure. I mean, no matter no matter how Real Madrid uh, performed this season, even you can you can always sign him to a one year extension if you don't find uh, the ideal candidate. You can always do that. I think he's done well enough and he's respected enough inside uh, in the media and also in the fan base that you can actually sign an extension right now and you won't be criticized. I don't think you can always do that. Like that would be like your insurance policy, if you will. But uh, I would rather. I think that will be short-sighted in this uh, in this case. I think Alonso is the long-term solution, and I don't th- I don't think Ancelotti is. I mean, if I this is not the, the similar case we were facing ten years ago with Mourinho or with or with Ancelotti ten years ago, where when I could see both potentially, obviously, Real Madrid's uh, track record is there, but I, you could see both of them staying for ten years because they were young enough, they were at, like at their peak. So this is not the case for Ancelotti. You cannot you cannot possibly expect Ancelotti to coach Real Madrid five years from now. So signing him to an extension right now would be short sighted, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean the <clears throat> the thing about contracts too with coaches in particular, we know that they only mean so much. I feel like they're a little bit more loose than player contracts. Absolutely, they are. Because coaches get sacked with long-term contracts all the time. So. Oh, no, and, and they even, like, you can easily uh, reach an agreement with clubs over over a coach. Easily. It happened with Mourinho. Mourinho had a contract when when Real Madrid signed him away from Inter. I th- Was Sancelotti unemployed when he signed for Madrid back in the day? I'm not sure. Definitely not this last time. He was in Everton and he had a contract. Yeah. And, and Everton allowed him to, to walk away. So it's way easier to sign a coach even when they had contracts. And no matter the release clause and these reports saying that Alonso has a release clause for Bayern, Madrid and, and, and Liverpool don't make any difference to me. I think like it's fairly easy to... Sure. to to sign a coach, even when they had contracts. Well, here's my na- my very naive plan, because I think my, my naive the my naive side says Chabi Alonso loves us, and he'll wait. And I like it really. I think from his from a pure love standpoint, it's I think he probably it's between us and Liverpool. I don't Absolutely. Think he, yeah. You know, Bayern he's not, Bayern are for like what? Yeah. One or two Bayern years not the behind. end of his career. Definitely. Yeah. Bayern but behind. from a reality standpoint, Bayern could be ahead just in terms of their coaching situation seems a little bit more volatile than us and Liverpool. Plus Alonso is getting huge reputation in Germany. Yeah. And right Bayern now. are famous for just depleting their own league and bringing everyone to their team. I don't want to say, well, yeah, I think it's, Fairly obvious that Bayern gives you the best odds of winning at least the league. I think that's kind of like they are the heavy favorites to win the Bundesliga each and every year, even though they came very close of losing it last season. I think Bayern is, if you're coaching Bayern and you don't win the Bundesliga, you're doing something wrong. And that's not the case with Liverpool and and Real Madrid. So, Yeah. yeah, I agree with you on the love factor. But on the other hand, Bayern are also a good candidate because of his reputation. Maybe he's feeling very comfortable with his life in Germany. His reputation in Germany is also gaining traction by the minute. 
And again, Bayern definitely give them the the biggest odds of succeeding in in the domestic competition. So I don't know. It'll be. I think it'll be. It would be a close battle if those three clubs were to were to call him. If Klopp steps away from Liverpool and they get Chabi Alonso, our plan B is easy. We just get Klopp. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. 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 Why not? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Meanwhile, Carlo Ancelotti will win a trophy every single year and stay for 2040. <laughs> and hey, and if that Ancelotti happens... Ancelotti goes I'm... to Bayern again. <laughs> Imagine we trade cards like that. <laughs> but here's the thing. Like, if Ancelotti keeps winning and we keep extending him, I'm not complaining at all. Because that's where we, we want... That's the whole thing. That's the whole goal in this is to win. And right, Carlo yeah. Ancelotti has proved that he can win. Um, right. But right. again, can you re- realistically see Ancelotti coaching Real Madrid... I won't. I won't even say five, three years from now. No, I can't. Um, he has. He has expressed. He has been vocal it's about because he's older. That's the only reason exactly. why. If well, he was, I, if he was, not only because 40, he's older, then it's a different conversation. But he's. And, I don't think but, he's. But not only because he's older, also because he has been vocal about his desire of this being his last job in club football, and yeah. you know him being on the wrong end of his coaching career and all that he's been vocal about it like it's yeah. not because he's old because ferguson coached like for 10 more years than Ancelotti is right now so it's not about only about his age but also about him feeling that his like his career is going down already yeah 